In Utah, they made it illegal for police to have a quota system. So the Ogden police decided to just create a point system. And it just requires cops to give out a certain number of tickets for the month, which makes cops want to give out tickets needlessly uh, for for nothing. And, and it's just a way for the... Uh, the police to make it seem like there's more crime there what there than what there is, as well as generate revenue for the city. Speed traps. I've seen cops with their lights off in hidden areas. Before you know it, the lights go on. Drivers, lawmakers, and police officers hate it. It's nonstop stress. How am I going to get my tickets? How am I going to get my numbers? They call it a quota. The Ogden chief calls it a point system. That's a quota. Sounds like a quota. No, we do not have a quota. Police quotas have been illegal since 2018, but tonight, Fox 13 investigates how Ogden thinks it found a different way to keep officers writing more tickets. Even if you're converting it from points to tickets, I still don't understand how that isn't a quota under the definition of the law. Uh... It should be like federally illegal for police to have a quota a quota system because it is extremely corrupt. They say it pays to live in Ogden, but drivers say it's costing them on the roads. In the beginning of the month, no cops are out. It's quiet. But towards the end of the month, they're everywhere. If that's not a quota, I don't know what is. More than half. Yeah. Some cops, they like to fill their quota in the beginning of the month, usually the first couple of weeks. They're out in force, giving tickets left and right. In some other places, it's, it's at the end of the month. Like uh, this guy was saying for Ogden, uh, you don't see them for the first couple of weeks, and then boom, they're out in force, giving tickets left and right so that they can fill their quota. Half a dozen police officers who are too afraid to speak on camera say he's right. Drivers know exactly what's going on. They have to write tickets to make their bosses happy. If you don't get a certain amount of tickets, you're going to be on a work improvement plan for sure. Does Ogden PD have quotas? No, we do not have a quota. How would you describe it? Chief Eric Young says it's a point system to make sure officers are working hard. It's part of their annual evaluation and not the only thing they're graded on. So instead of like requesting cops to, you know, go after more dangerous criminals, these quota systems makes cops go after like uh, low level, you know, offenders. A lot of times, you know, just minor traffic violators. So they're 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 wasting resources on something that they shouldn't be while like dangerous criminals actually go free. 90% of officers writing citations is work. That's a critical part of keeping our community safe. So an officer isn't necessarily required to write a certain number of tickets, but they have to get a certain number of points. They do. You better get your numbers. Here's okay, yeah, so if you're required to get a certain number of points, and to get those points, you gotta write tickets, that means you need to get a certain number of tickets. An example of how the point system works. You pull someone over, give them a warning, that's two points. But let's say you're worried about your numbers. Officers say in that case, they're probably just going to give them a ticket. That's double, four points. State lawmakers banned quotas in 2018, but the chief says there is nothing illegal about what he's doing. Well so if, some, if, so if a cop wanted to meet their quota as fast as possible, they're just going to uh, give anybody a ticket, and boom, they met their quota and don't have to do anything for the rest of the time. Well, I was working with the legislature when this bill came around, and I understood what the concerns were. I think it's pretty obvious to your viewers what's going on here. This is associated with raising revenue. Former Senator Howard Stevenson wrote the bill. When we showed him the point system, he was not happy. Are you surprised that they're actually willing to put this type of stuff in writing? They are emphasizing quotas. The idea that these 
men and women in blue have to be revenue raisers is un-American. That's a quota. Sounds like a quota. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a quota. Former Representative Kim Coleman also sponsored the bill. She says it's time to hold Ogden PD accountable or to go back to the drawing board with a new bill to address loopholes. I don't feel that it in any way violates the spirit of what that legislation was. According to the state auditor, Ogden makes more money per capita in fines and forfeitures than any other large city in U Wow. $27.57 million. I'm assuming that's million. And they're um, and they're saying that they uh, make a bunch of money in asset forfeiture. That's just the cop saying that somebody's money or assets is connected to a crime. And you have to prove that it isn't. And cops use that for themselves. They love to steal money from citizens. And in act uh, they cops... Asset, civil, civil asset forfeiture accounts for like the second most amount of money stolen. Um, burglary is the third, and then wage theft is the top. Utah. Even if you're converting it from points to tickets, I, I still don't understand how that isn't a quota under the definition of the law. To get above that, that moderate level, you'd only have to write um, two a week, which would be eight a month. He says it's only a small part of the evaluation. Okay, so in order to reach the points, that's only two a week, eight a month. So, but it, that's still requiring cops to write tickets. Officers say they were made to feel like it was the most important. I think the chief is coming from a good place and wanting officers to go out there and be proactive, but on the same note, needing to get a certain amount of tickets so the city can get that revenue. That looks like a significant part of an evaluation. Another officer who showed us his annual re It's honestly a bit of a conflict of interest. Um, for this guy to get paid more, he's requiring the cops to go out and give more tickets. And in the end, you know, get more money that way so he's just doing it doing this all out of his own interest and it's definitely a big conflict of interest review exceeded expectations in almost every category including tickets but he was still asked at the bottom of his eval to work on writing at least two traffic citations a week not a single evaluation crosses my desk um, unless the employee has at least two goals to work on for the next year. And I don't care if they got a perfect score. So if an officer is already meeting expectations, or in this case exceeding expectations, why would they be asked to write more tickets? They shouldn't be. I've had the same stuff on my evaluations. Other officers say they were disciplined, not fired, but it made them feel like it was time to look for another job. So they did. If we had a, uh, a quota that said no matter what else you do, if you don't get your citations, you're not you're not cutting it and you're going to have repercussions then that's quota in my book well that's exactly what it is i think that's ridiculous totally ridiculous and they need to quit doing it she's angry even though she says she's never gotten a speeding ticket um not since like 1970 something it's probably because i'm lucky <laughs> Now she says it's time for Ogden PD to follow the spirit of the law and stop treating drivers like a piggy bank. I would say, gentlemen and ladies, please do away with the point system and obey the laws that we have to obey. What the uh, mayor needs to do is have an investigation on the police chief and get him removed and put somebody in that won't uh, do a point system.